The year is 2001. A brand new first person shooter called Halo just came out on the Xbox and everybody is talking about it. A first person shooter like no other, Halo arguably shaped and molded the FPS genre into what it is today. And at only five years old, I experienced Halo for the first time and I fell in love. The franchise has definitely been through a lot of ups and downs over the years. We have had to make the difficult decision not to ship campaign split screen co-op you tripping bro you tripping <laughs> however the chief is still near and dear to my heart not that guy though he sucks Ew! Dude. what the fuck and with the recent rise in halo infinite's popularity again it got me thinking i've never actually beaten a halo game on legendary difficulty you what i know i know calm down you virgin so what you're about to witness will be my first ever achievement hunt we will be going back in time 21 years to go for the living legend achievement which means i'm going to have to beat every single level of halo combat evolved on legendary difficulty and when i booted up the game for the first time in years my heart was filled with a joy that i hadn't felt in a very long time I just busted. What? Our story begins on board a ship called the Pillar of Autumn, where we discover a large ring world of unknown origin. An alien race called the Covenant then attack the Autumn unexpectedly, forcing the crew to abandon ship. Captain Keys entrusts the ship's artificial intelligence named Cortana to the Master Chief, knowing that if the Covenant were to get their hands on the AI, they'd discover the location of Earth. And that's where we come in. Mission one, the Pillar of Autumn. Our goal is simple, fight off the Covenant, escape the Pillar of Autumn, and flee to the mysterious Ring World. And as we begin our first enemy encounters, I'm feeling pretty confident. I mean, I am a Halo veteran and all. Those Marines could use some help, Chief. Do what you do best. They're nothing. These guys are nothing, bro. Come on. Keep your head down. There's two of us here now, remember? Nothing to me. I'm the Chief. I did not mean to do that. Cool. We're moving and grooving, chat. We're moving and grooving. That should kill him, right? Nah, I didn't realize there was a door right here. We haven't died yet, guys. We're doing good. We're doing good. But this confidence would soon be met with harsh reality when I'm reminded of how quickly you actually die on legendary difficulty. Oh, dude, they're so weird, guys. They're so weird. First death down. We went on through the autumn, taking out elites and grunts, racking that death counter up along the way. Okay, maybe, maybe this is going to be kind of hard. Wow, I died so fast. Oh my God. <laughs> There's so many in there, bro. Bro, what is he, Mike Tyson? There's both sides, both sides, bro. Oh. Oh, console wars in 2023. <laughs> I've never touched a girl before. That's how I read your, your chat message, Dill. Please go outside. Your family's worried sick about you. <laughs> what are we doing? Doc? It's 2023. Get a job, bro. Everywhere is hiring. This Xbox really just has Halo. Oh. Am I playing Call of Duty? But against all odds, we find ourselves in an escape pod as we successfully escape the Pillar of Autumn and head towards the unknown ring planet. All right, got through the first mission. Eight deaths, not bad. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good about that. Mission two, Halo. Chief and Cortana land on the ring planet and begin searching for surviving Marines, fighting off Covenant along the way. And although this mission is far from being one of the game's most difficult, I unfortunately was about to get my first real taste of just how hard Halo Legendary difficulty can actually be. <laughs> they played me. They played me. 
Dead. 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 Shut up, grunt. Okay. <laughs> I hate it here. Huh? Oh. Okay. 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 I think we got it. We got it. Oh my God, bro. What was that? I died 11 times on that one encounter. But even as we continually add to that death counter, there was still a level of beauty to this game even 21 years later. And it felt good to be back in the world of Halo. The music literally gives me an erection. We continue rescuing Marines and fighting off the Covenant in style, I might add. Ah! Got him! No scope! And dying in all of the ridiculous ways that keep you guys coming back every video. Oh god. Oh god. After some filthy snipes that are definitely going to put me on FaZe Clan's radar. This elite, it's over with. I'm wasting so many snipes, bro. We learned that Captain Keys has been captured and being held on a Covenant ship, which is where we're headed next. I found Captain Keys. He's being held on a Covenant cruiser. Yes, we got it. Ooh. My God, got through it. Only 22 deaths in, guys, on two missions. So we'll definitely be over 100 deaths on the run. That's for sure. Mission three, the truth and reconciliation. In my life, there have been a lot of ups and downs. As a child, I was bullied for my weight, and I still struggle with body dysphoria as an adult because of it. In high school, I never really lived up to the expectations that my coaches had of me as an athlete, and that still bothers me to this day. I've been through heartbreak that led to borderline alcoholism at the young age of 17. I've experienced financial hardship and instability, and I had to play Warzone for two years, arguably the worst time of them all, but nothing. And I mean nothing was as bad as the truth and reconciliation. Bro! How is this going to be possible? I hate this fucking game, bro. I'm, I'm not even in front of him! No, 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 no! I hate that. I hate him so much. I hate him so much. This mission starts with Chief and a crew of Marines infiltrating a Covenant ship called the Truth and Reconciliation to rescue Captain Keys. Just getting on board the ship was a task in itself. Why, why do I keep doing that knowing I can't do that? I'm pretty sure that is definitely the play. Oh, it's easy mode with the turret. I hate it here. I'm dead. I'm literally dead because... I am in agony, bro. But once we were actually on the ship was where the real challenge began. We find ourselves in a room with four doors. Each of these doors spawn an invisible sword elite, grunts, and my least favorite Halo enemy, jackals. I hate these more than I hate Skylar White from Breaking Bad. And that's a lot. Now keep in mind, I had 36 deaths when we first got on board the ship. And what followed after that was a series of deaths, 28 deaths to be exact, that led me to do something that I have never done before. Dude, I, I don't know. This might be the first video, like the first game where I might have to end stream early and like go chill for a second, like go take a break. This is brutal. I don't even have any skulls on, bro. Just. Oh, 
Oh my god. This is crazy, bro. Why are there still so many? There's still another one. There's still another one, bro. There's still another one. Okay. I appreciate you guys for tuning in to today's program. Um, I need to walk away now, okay? We will resume this as soon as I am mentally stable again, okay? Because right now I am I am not. I am not in an adequate position uh, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, physically to be able to do what this game is requiring me to do right now, okay? So this isn't a rage quit, all right? This is just a solemn goodbye for several hours while I reevaluate all of my life decisions, okay? All right. I love you. Thank you for, for hanging out in today's stream. I'm going to go um, cry in the shower. All right. Three weeks later. And after my three day hiatus, I picked back up right where I left off. I may have been sick. All right. I sound terrible, but the covenant are not going to beat themselves, chat. They're not going to beat themselves. We got to get it going. Okay, okay, we're kind of we're kind of low-key low-key. We're kind of cooking. Did we just cook on our first try? <laughs> but after racking up another five or so deaths I finally had my breakthrough and overcame the adversity that had been towering over me for so long. I Got it. I finished it. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Oh my god. Is it harder than God of War, guys? This is harder than God of War. The death counter was 627 in God of War, but it's a much longer game. This game is only 10 missions long, and I've already died 76 times. We're in for a, for a rough ride, guys. We've died 76 times, and we're not even three missions deep of the 10. And we haven't even gotten to the hard stuff yet. The fact that it took two streams and 40 deaths to beat one enemy encounter says a lot about both me as a gamer and how difficult this game actually is. I went on through the ship searching for Captain Keys, killing Covenant and racking up deaths as I go. I'm feeling confident right now. At one point, I even took my frustrations out on my chat, which I'm not proud of. Freaking elite, bro. I don't have any nades, Case. I don't have nades. I would spam nades if I had them, Case. Still not over, bro. It's still not over. I'm gonna be honest, guys. I'm gonna be honest. I don't have time. I've run out of time for the stream. It was only supposed to be a three hour stream. I'm already three hours and I'm, I haven't even beat this mission. I guess I'm just really bad. I don't know. I'm gonna have to save it and come back. And tomorrow morning we'll be back and we're gonna have to finish this mission tomorrow. So I went to the gym and deadlifted my frustrations away. Later that day when I got home, I did something that I never do and tried to make some progress off stream. All right, I'm not gonna lie. We are off stream right now. I wanted to see uh, if I could just go ahead and get through this mission. When we start the stream tomorrow, I really wanna be on the next mission. We've spent way too much time on this. Luckily for me, the end of Truth and Reconciliation isn't near as bad as the rest of the mission. And I was able to rescue Captain Keys and escape the ship fairly easily. Come on, come on. Let me, uh, let me. It's just crazy, dude. How do you expect me to beat that? That's it. That's it. That's it. We did it. We did it. All it took was some deadlifts. I went to the gym and deadlifted, came back, and I was golden, bro. Mission four, the silent cartographer. We learn from Keys that the ring world is actually called Halo and the Covenant believe it to be a weapon. With this new knowledge, we set out to secure a map room that holds information on every single location on the ring. And on this mission, my Warthog skills were truly tested for the first time. And let's just say, I've never been the best Warthog driver. Got him. Let's see you, uh... Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, that wasn't the play. What?
bro. I'm like, I, I'm not ready. We're not doing this today. I have to run over the two elites, bro. I have to. Bro, like, f this game. When we exit the Warthog, we're greeted by your typical Covenant enemies. <laughs> Until we get to a point where I'm getting a little bit nervous. Y'all see this right here? There, that is three. I just picked one up. That's three overshields. There's something waiting for me down here that's not good. There's invisible elites in here. Isn't there? Oh. Okay, nah. Wow. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Wow. Wow. Wow! After defeating the hunters and unlocking the door that leads to the map room, we hop back on our warthog. <gasps> he died in war, guys. He was a casualty. He died on the front lines, a hero. That's what we tell to home base. We make our way to the silent cartographer and discover the location of Halo's control room, which is where we're headed next. But first, we have to deal with every Halo player's worst nightmare, jackals. Jackals are my least favorite Halo character ever. It dude, like I it's it's three jackals and I can't get past. <laughs> that it? Is that it? Yes, that was it. That was a checkpoint. We did it. Evac, baby. Let's go. Get me in there. Let's get moving. That mission wasn't that bad. It wasn't near as bad as uh, Truth and Reconciliation. I think I only died like 29 times <laughs> that mission, which is good for me. Mission five, assault on the control room. Our goal in this mission is simple, reach the control room, hence the name. But as soon as we arrive, we're greeted with a not so warm welcome. All right. Okay, good start here. Just throw me right on in there, huh? Okay, that is not fair. That's not fair. From there, we proceeded to clear room after room until we reached a bridge with a bunch of Covenant on it. He's sleeping. Look how, look, look how cute he is. No! There are a bunch of these bridges on this mission and every single one of them gave me trouble. Oh my God! I didn't think there were any. No, bro, damn it. No. This stupid banshee, dude. Is there any way to take it out? Is there any way? He's like that one dude that flies around in big team battle and never gets out the damn banshee because he's too dog shit at the game to fight me one on one. After finally defeating all of the enemies on the bridge, even I couldn't believe it. We did it, guys. Hallelujah. We actually did it. You better give me a checkpoint right now. Thank God. And after clearing a few more rooms and being distracted by my chat. Down with a sickness. Wait. Wait, that's kinda, that goes kind of hard. We finally made it outside of the structure where we'd find something that was quite the sight for sore eyes. Oh, sniper, sniper and rockets, sniper rockets. No, get me out, I don't care about that. But not only did I finally get my hands on the two best guns in the game, I also found myself in the driver's seat of a scorpion. I was excited at first because I thought it was all downhill from here. But then I remembered, the scorpion sucks on Combat Evolved and I suck at sniping. How? How am I almost to explain? I hate myself so much. I just want to restart from checkpoint. No, no. Oh. 
See, that's not my fault, bro. It's stupid. If it's stupid, it's not my fault. Huh? Huh? Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. No, no, no. No, no, no. We not like this. Excuse me. What? Despite all of my frustrations, we almost made it to the control room. However, when I came to this part where I had to hijack a banshee to get to my objective, I had a lot of trouble. Nope, I'm not gonna be able to ignore the banshee. I'm not gonna be able to ignore him. I don't. I don't know what to do, man. I don't. I don't know what to do. But as always, I persevered with the perfect combination of RNG and luck. I finally made it to the banshee I needed to reach the control room. The entrance to the control center is at the top of that room. All right, all right, all right, all right. Where does you? Oh, up here, up here, up here. I'll see you tonight. Okay, we'll uh, we're gonna we're gonna finish finish this up tonight for the night stream. Um, I am dead inside. You know what makes that even worse? That wasn't even where I was supposed to go. When I returned for the night stream a few hours later, I had one goal. Beat the rest of the campaign in one stream. Up to this point, we were 209 deaths, 11 hours, and not even five completed missions deep. If I was going to pull this off, I was gonna have to do two things. One, play better which is tough for me because I suck at video games. And two, finish the game in under eight hours because at that point my wife would be awake and she'll definitely judge me. So after some just chatting, I picked up where we left off. And unfortunately, our banshee troubles were far from over. Head ass, I wonder if I can just fly through here. I'm about to, I'm about to just fly through here. Send it, right, send it. If I die, it is what it is, so start over. Could be worse than what I just went through. I cannot blow up here. If I blow up here, it's over. We gotta get out. When we finally reached the control room, Cortana and Chief learned that Halo is housing something that terrifies the Covenant. Something terrifying. Hmm. Whatever could that be? Mission 6. 343 Guilty Spark. After learning about the mysterious enemy the Covenant fear, we set out searching for Captain Keys and his crew, fearing the worst. When we arrive, it's obvious something isn't right. Covenant are running away in terror. Even this guy has lost his marbles. What are you doing, bro? Stay back! Stay back! You're not turning me into one of those things! Why did you... Uh, thanks for the ammo, though. As a child, this mission absolutely horrified me. And as an adult, it still makes me uncomfortable. What we are about to experience is our first encounter with the flood. No, God, no! They're so creepy. Okay, okay, there's so many, there's so many, there's so many. I don't have any ammo. That's great. That's a situation you really want to be in. Can I get out of here or no? I'm gonna die here, actually. Wait, no, 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 no. I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. I'm dead, I'm dead. Okay, all right, cool, cool, cool. It's a balanced experience. It is pretty satisfying seeing him go splat though, I can't lie. Oh my god. I'm gonna just let them go at it, you know? Oh, so they got guns. I forgot about them. That's what you always love to see. This is where shit starts getting fun. 
Yeah. This is when it starts getting fun. Okay. After fighting our way out of the structure, Chief runs into 343 Guilty Spark, Halo's AI monitor that controls the ring's defense systems. And to activate the defense systems, we have to go to Halo's library. Oh boy. Mission seven, the library. Uh oh, uh oh. This is it guys. This is the one. All right, guys, so this is the deal. This is the library. All right, this is one of, known as one of the most difficult Halo missions of all time. If we get through this mission, we probably beat the game tonight. All right, it, depending on how long it takes us to get through this. It's gonna be bad, I'll put it that way. It's gonna be bad. Let's just take it one checkpoint at a time. All right, one checkpoint at a time. I proceeded to take out hordes of flood with little to no trouble along the way. Wow, okay. So far, I'm not seeing how this could be worse than truth and reconciliation, I'm gonna be honest. I know I might regret saying that later, but I'm just saying right now, I don't see how this could be worse than what we've already done. And honestly, for the most part, I was right. I spent so much time stressed about this mission because all of my peers were emphasizing how bad it was. And for a while there, I was doing pretty good, besides a couple of deaths here and there. Okay. I just, you know, the thing is, everybody talks about how difficult this level is. Feel like I, it's it's only the beginning. Like, I feel like it's coming and I just, it's too good to be true. You know what I mean? Lucius, I don't think that's what it is though. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't think that's what it is. I think I'm literally, I, I'm in for it. I, I can feel it coming. It's about to get absolutely horrific. <laughs> yeah, I was right. Rocket flutter here, guys. Rocket flutter here. This is what we've been waiting for. <laughs> so dumb. <laughs> yeah, and now, okay. Okay. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. It's gonna be crazy, bro. Yeah, I'm bad. I don't know how I'm gonna beat this, I'm gonna be honest. As I approached the end of the mission, I started to realize I was making it harder on myself than I needed to. I learned you're better off just ignoring and running through a lot of the flood, rather than trying to fight every single one. Probably could have finished this a good 15, 20 minutes faster if I knew that beforehand, but you guys know how it is. I'm not the brightest YouTuber out there. It's not good, man, not good. Oh. It's not over, I don't think. The flood is spreading. We must hurry. Yeah, it's not over. I didn't think it was. No, it is over. That was it. That was the library. Hold up now, bro. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. They're tripping. They're tripping, bro. The library, worse than truth and reconciliation? You are out of your mind. Truth and reconciliation was one of the worst missions I have played in any game ever. And they, people were telling me the library was worse than that. You are crazy. That was not that bad. Y'all had me worried over here. I probably died like, what, chat? Maybe 20 times? That was, that was not bad. Mission eight, two betrayals. After returning to the control room with the activation index we needed to destroy the flood, Cortana informs Chief that it won't only destroy the flood, but it will destroy all life in the galaxy. Well, that's pretty cliche. Now knowing 343 Guilty Spark's true intentions, we set out to destroy some generators on Halo to buy us some time. Hot take here, this mission was worse than the library. Not because it was harder, but because it's literally just assault on the control room, but backwards. Oh, and there's Covenant and Flood, so that's nice. I'm not mentally prepared for this right here. Not, I'm not. Another bridge. We set out to destroy the three generators, each room getting tougher than the last. What the, what the? We cook, we cooking now, we cooking now. He's the crumb posture check. My bad, I'm hunching. 
Now at this point, I don't know if it was because my brain was starting to break down or I'm actually just terrible at Halo. Probably a little bit of both, to be honest. But I died more within the span of 30 minutes than I had the entire two missions prior. It all started when I had to get in a Banshee and get to the next generator. And we all know how that goes. Somebody keep up. I hope one of you keeping up with the deaths. Attempt after attempt, I finally said screw it and just made a run for it. Oh my God, please give me chat point. Give me chat point. Give me chat point. I hate this so much. But little did I know, I was about to deal with one of the toughest rooms in the entire level where I would die over 20 times. Generator overloaded. Um, I'm, I don't know. I want to hit something so bad. Generator overloaded. One more to go. Sure. Like, you have to do it that way. That's the objective. Dude, I am going to fucking scream. A few moments later. If I get rocketed, I'm going to lose it. If I get rocketed, I am going to absolutely lose it. Uh. What's the death counter? 298. Okay. I love you. Although our struggles and two betrayals were coming to an end, they still weren't entirely over. To get to the last generator, I have to first hijack a ghost and then a banshee. The only issue is there's a lot of covenant and flood in the way. And just when I finally successfully got the ghost and thought I was one step closer to completing the mission, I was instantly reminded of what makes Halo CE Legendary so special. No rocket flood. No rocket flood. I eventually got past that part after several attempts and found the Banshee. Only issue is it was guarded by Rocket Flood and Covenant Wraiths. I have to pee. I gotta walk away. After my potty break, I was feeling like a brand new man. So I tried again and it was pretty intense. Oh, brother. Oh, brother. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Don't look at me. Don't you look at me. Don't you look at me. Oh my God, bro. After taking our Banshee, we destroy the last generator, which brings this mission to an end and begins the next. Mission nine, Keys. Here we return to the truth and reconciliation to locate Captain Keys. I hate it here. We need his neural implants to operate the Pillar of Autumn. The plan was to detonate the Autumn's fusion reactor, which would destroy all of Halo. We should have just called Bonnie Ross instead. She'll destroy Halo for a lot less trouble. As we begin our search for Keys and fight off incoming Flood and Covenant, we're still feeling pretty good. We still got the energy. We're six hours deep, still got the energy. We're making it happen. After getting back on board the Truth and Reconciliation. Oh, yay. My favorite place in the entire game. We get to work. Not going to lie. At this point, I was ignoring a lot of enemies and just running through trying to get to the next checkpoint. It was 4 a.m. Give me a break. I don't care. All right, checkpoint. I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm cool. Unfortunately, when we found Keys, he wasn't doing so great. Gross. Ew. RIP. Put him on a t-shirt. As we are trying to escape to the autumn now that we have Key's neural implants, I have to deal with hordes of Covenant. And they were giving me a good bit of trouble. However, I did discover a neat little trick to help me save some time. I guess you could call me a Halo speedrunner now. Yes! Last mission. Last mission, chat. This is it. What we've all been waiting for. Mission 10. The Maw.
What a weak name for a final mission, but whatever. The goal here is simple, destroy Halo. And considering I finally watched the Paramount Halo series all the way through, I knew exactly what it was going to take. Get it? Because it sucks. Yeah, no, okay. We're initially greeted by a bunch of Covenant and Flood, including some beefy boy hunters, which we take out with ease. And much like past missions, I discovered if I just let the Flood and Covenant fight each other, I can actually get away with not even fighting a lot of them. Don't judge me. Why, 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 no, 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 just go, just go, just go. It's a cheat code, I'm winning. It's a cheat code and I'm winning. After spending an embarrassing amount of time searching for rockets. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, Ah, uh, we're about to get in our warthog and ride off into the sunset. We finally destroyed the fusion reactor. Come on, come on, come on. That did it. The engine's gone critical. Based on the current rate of decay. It was stressful, bro. It's stressing me out. It is 5.45 a.m. It's too late in the early in the morning. I don't know to be that stressed. And now it's time for the infamous final warthog run that all Bungie Halo games are known for. God, I miss them. It's a good thing that I am a spectacular Warthog driver because if I wasn't, this could have been a pretty frustrating ordeal. We still got a long way to go. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Yeah. The will the explosion will generate a temperature of almost one. That is, dude, like I, I haven't even gotten on the road yet. They're so annoying. No. Fuck am I playing? What? <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna keep. I don't know what it wants for me. I don't know what it wants for me. I'm just going the route that it wants me to go. A few moments later. Get me out, get me out. Okay. Wait, stop. This is where Fohammer is coming to pick us up. Let's go chat. We got through. Unfortunately, our evac went down. So we had to resort to plan B, escape ourselves. And our final run was flawless. Some would even say it was legendary. <coughs> the music, let's go. If we move now, we can make it. Let's go, we got this. Yes, it is designed to be beaten. That's what I have to tell myself. The ship. Move. We need to get aboard now. I don't know. I'm going. Wait, I did it. I did it. I was here in the chat. I was here. <laughs> oh, what a stream. What a stream. Lucius, thank you for keeping up with the deaths, bro. 384 deaths is what it took to beat Combat Evolved on Legendary. Halo, it's finished. <sighs> no, I think we're just getting started. That's right. We're just getting started. God, that felt so good, man. Living Legend Halo Combat Evolved complete every level of the game on legendary difficulty. Oh my God, bro. I, def I defied the odds, chat. I defied the odds. I was sick. I didn't have a lot of time to finish this. I told myself last night, we're going to beat this game in one stream seven hours and 40 minutes almost 200 deaths later we made it happen only in the rob mob is this possible it is 608 a.m in the morning okay and i have to work tonight so <laughs> drop a like and subscribe if you're brand new especially if you want to see some more halo legendary playthroughs and if you enjoyed that video be sure to check out this one next oh we're just getting started